Well, hello friends, my name is Roger and welcome to my channel, Roger Talks Tech. And welcome to Lightroom Thursday, where I offer a tip or technique on using Lightroom every Thursday. So today I'm gonna to talk about some recent changes that Adobe added to Lightroom. Lightroom Classic was recently updated to version 9.0 and there are now several new features. So the first I wanna talk about is in the collections panel here. And in the past, you were able to filter all of my synced collections. There's now an option to sync by color labels. So if I choose purple here, all my other collections disappear, except for the ones to which I've applied a purple color label. In this instance, there's only one, and that is the uh, pets collection. And this can come in handy if you have a lot of collections and you want to find the specific ones quickly. And to remove the filter, I click inside the collections box again, click the magnifying glass, point to color labels, and choose none. That removes the filter. And actually color coding your collections is quite easy. Just select the collection you want to add a label to, right click, choose that color label to your collection, and choose the label that you want to add. So Adobe also updated the panorama feature. So let me go back to all my photographs here and I'm gonna choose these three images here. I'm gonna choose photo, photo merge, panorama. And as we can see, the panorama isn't perfect and we have a little bit of white along the edges here. Now in the past, you could drag the boundary warp all the way to the right and that would fill in those edges. The problem with this is that it does warp the photo, which sometimes produces unexpected results, especially if you have fine details along the edges. But in the Panorama Merge Preview window, there's a new box called Fill Edges. So let me bring the boundary warp back down to zero. Then I'm going to click the Fill Edges checkbox. And what this does is uses content aware technology to fill in the edges. And this is a technology that's been available in Photoshop for uh, quite some time. So it's nice to see that Adobe is uh, finally bringing it to Lightroom. So you can use either on the boundary warp and if you don't like the results, give the fill edges a try. And I'm gonna cancel out of there. Well, one thing I do want to mention, when you upgrade to Lightroom 9, Lightroom is going to upgrade your Lightroom catalog, meaning it's going to create an entirely new catalog for you. And what it did for me is just took my original catalog name and added a 2 at the end of it. Now, if you don't like that, you can always go in and uh, rename your catalog. But when, when you do, you want to make sure, let me go in into my... Uh, to the folder where my Lightroom catalog is, you wanna make sure that you rename all of the helper catalogs as well. So you can see my catalog was renamed to Lightroom Catalog-2. And I just removed the uh, dash two. And when renaming all the other files, you wanna make sure that you leave the uh, spaces in the names as well. So what I did was copied, uh, create a folder here, old to delete, copied my original Lightroom catalog to this folder, and then renamed the newly named catalog to, as you see it here. So let's go back to Lightroom. Okay, another new feature is that when you go to File Export, you can now export to multiple user presets at once. So here I have a Facebook preset, Instagram preset, and a standard JPEG preset. In previous versions of Lightroom, I would have had to initiate this export process three different times to uh, export to these presets. So now we have a checkbox next to each preset. So I just click the uh, checkboxes and then do my export. So that saves a couple of steps. And I'm gonna cancel out of here. So another update is in the history panel. So I'm gonna select this image here that I've made a few adjustments to and tap D to switch to the develop module. So here on the left are all the adjustments that I've made in the history panel. So there's a new feature where you can right click any item in the history panel and choose clear history above this step. This will remove all of the recent changes after the selected step. So let's say this image here was experimenting with uh, color and temperature adjustments and I don't like the way it ended up and I decided I'm gonna go back to the way it was originally and try again. So I'll right click right here and choose clear history above this step. That removes all of those steps that I had made after this selected one. And another change has been made to the presets panel. 
you now have the ability to export your presets. So if I expand this preset here, I can right click, I can right click a preset and choose export. And then I just need to choose the location where I want to export it and then click save. So this comes in handy if you've created presets that you want to share with others or use on a different computer. You can also export an entire folder of presets by right clicking in the folder name and choosing export group. And then again, you choose the location where you want to um, export them to. So uh, that's about it for the new features for this video. Oh, one last thing I do want to mention. The cloud version of Lightroom is no longer called CC, Lightroom CC, but it is now simply Lightroom. The desktop version is still Lightroom Classic, but the cloud version is just simply Lightroom. So if you go to update your apps and you don't see Lightroom CC, that is why. So did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below as that really helps my channel out. And that about does it for this time. I will talk to you all in the next video. Roger and out.